Well, as Wednesday's vote looms, Senior Clerk of the House of Assembly David Forbes is explaining what has to take place in Parliament before a referendum. Then you have the ones like, like what we're dealing with that are what you call doubly entrenched provisions of the Constitution. They require the highest amount of responsibility and response from Parliament. So in Parliament, you have to have a three-quarters majority in order for it to pass Parliament. Once it passes Parliament, it goes off, goes on to a referendum, and the majority of the people who are eligible to vote in an election will then decide whether they agree with what the Parliament has decided. But in the House, before you even get to that, the one, what you will notice that will be different this time from probably all of the votes that you've seen taking place in the House of Assembly, you'll notice that the Speaker will vote this time. With um, these constitutional amendments, the Speaker has what you call an original vote, which means that when, we, when the House divides, the first person who will be called upon to vote will be the Speaker.